Well, you are never too old or too young to make a difference. And believe it or not, one person can actually make a difference. If you have any doubt in your mind that that can be the case, it should be a race once you meet our very special guest, Jalen Daughtery and his father, Wayman. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I got to ask you, you got a, a program that you're doing to raise uh, awareness about the homeless. How did you come up with this idea, Jalen? Well, my dad said, do you want to do Hustle's Homeless? So I said, yeah. So we collected hats from friends, families, and cousins. Why did you decide to do this? I mean, you could have just kept doing what you're doing. Being a young person, I understand you play basketball. Why did you feel it was important to get involved? Because if they didn't have hats for winter, they would have been cold and not warm outside. Now, Dad, how does this make you feel having a, a, a son so socially conscious? You know, it's no, uh, no, no, no crime for young people to just be young and go about their way and, and play basketball as he does, but he's deciding to make a difference. How does that make you feel? Uh, very inspired. Um, he, he instilled something into, into me that uh, I'm grateful for because I've always talked about helping out and, and doing things, and I've kind of been lazy about it. So. Uh, when he wanted to uh, do the Hats for Homeless thing, it helped me energize and get behind him and, and want to help him. So tell me about the program. Uh, what's in it? Uh, just Hats for Homeless. Uh, one day he, he wanted to give his hat away uh, to the homeless guy, uh, and I told him that, uh, well, you can't give your hat away, so we can, we can do something that we can uh, give back. So I told him we couldn't give money because he's always trying to give him money. Sure. So we just uh, said we'd come up with hats for homeless. So we collected hats uh, from family, friends, anybody that we can actually just, you know, donate hats to us so that we can actually, uh, we actually wanted to pass out the hats individually. Our goal was to collect 100 hats and we reached our goal of 108 hats in less wow. than three weeks. So this has been going on for three weeks. I take it you guys, you have some of the hats here today. When are these actually going to be presented, and where are you going to give them away? Uh, we're going to give them away uh, starting downtown, uh, starting on the weekends uh, from uh, Jefferson on up. So anybody that we see uh, outside that needs a hat, we are individually going to uh, pass the hats out. And does this end here? Are you guys going to keep this program going? Or are you going to expand it? No, it doesn't end. Uh, like I said, we started January 3rd, uh, so I figured we, we started late. So now we're going to start uh, starting October. Uh, okay. From October all the way to the end of January, our goal is to collect 500 hats each year, each winter. So we're going to start in October all the way to January to uh, collect hats. And how can people help out? I mean, this has got to be a very daunting task to collect all these hats. How can people get involved and, and help out this cause? Uh, you, you can call me, email me, Facebook me. Uh, we're not we're not collecting any uh, donation for money. We just click uh, one hats. Uh, so you can call me. I'll pick up the hats, or you know, however you want to do it. But we that's all we want to do is collect the hats. Well, gentlemen, it is certainly a pleasure to meet you, and you have uh, taught a lot of people that they can make a difference, and hopefully, a lot of folks follow your example. We will try to get some information on our website that'll help you guys out as you uh, collect these hats. So thank you and good job. Thank you.